Looking at the condition of today's air, the carbon dioxide concentration had increased over 50% ever since the pre-industrial revolution. This has become a major concern in the world, especially urban areas, and in our country, Jakarta. Knowing the harm that can be caused by an excessive amount of greenhouse effect in the air that are too high for natural processes to remove, our team tries to help the removal by our design of Art Deco 2. Nowadays, the problem is that there are no large additions in physical scale and amounts for environmental movement that are effective, high endurance, and pleasing to the eyes. That is where Art Deco 2 shines. After discussing and researching with our mentor, Mr. Nunu, we've then discovered that there are such things as a self-healing concrete. This then can be achieved by a mixture of main materials of concrete, bacteria, and sodium alginate. Tests and observation are physically done here by our friend Winner to show that by bacteria and cement-like materials, we can achieve such a mixture that can indeed be sculpted to art. We took the idea of coral reefs, which also have the ability to regenerate when wounds happen, and then trees, since they stood tall aesthetically in large quantities whilst reducing the amount of CO2 there is on land. While trees can only use carbon dioxide during the day, this differs Art Deco to from it because Art Deco can instantaneously self-heal while consuming the carbon dioxide all around it. The organ pipes provided a good idea on how it is placed close together to one another. The structure idea of two corals is that they are elongated circular tubes, although in our design, we implemented a more hexagonal approach and added holes making the surface area that can be abraded to be larger. But how does it work? On being a decorative structure in public, our deco will deteriorate over time due to winds, accidental bumps, touches, and all that causes abrasion. When our design is broken or chipped, the bacteria within will use the carbon in the air to form a reaction, namely biomineralization. Concrete will then be formed over time, hence healing the damaged area with limitations. This, placed in large quantities around densely carbonated air, such as those in urban areas, will definitely help reduce the greenhouse effect.